Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a fab day. Today guys, I've got a vlog for you of a typical day in the Maldives. So it's morning, I've just got up, had a shower and I'm currently looking out at the beautiful view. So we're about to go ahead for breakfast, so I'll let you know what I'm going to choose. Okay, so we're off. Just spotted us a big shawl of like fish under the water, like just circling. Probably hard to tell what it is on the camera, but they're just going around and around in circles. So we have a little bowl for cleaning our feet, should we need it. And then there are no paths here, just sand. Um, so you could probably get away with not wearing flip flops if you need to. So this is the restaurant, bustling for breakfast, ready to be greeted by the chef and the staff, so it's called Bukhara. Morning. So this is our table set up for breakfast, Chris's parents and his sister will sit there. There's a man, oh, here's a menu coming. Thank you. And then this is our breakfast view. Blue sky, sand and sunshine. So this is the breakfast menu. Breakfast is served from 7 until 10. Um, we get three pages to choose from. So here we've got a lot of egg dishes. Feel free to pause if you want to have a little read. And then over the page we've got another page of breakfast choices various different bits and bobs. These two pages don't change at all. And then over here we have a specials menu for Wednesdays. This page changes daily and there's different bits and bobs to offer. Offer? Order? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying there. Um, but yeah, and there's also a breakfast buffet which I will show you. So this is the breakfast buffet area. Got lots of jams and spreads. Pastries, this is Chris's favourite section. <laughs> mm. I'm going to try some banana and walnut cake. Huh? Definitely going to try that chocolate Oh my goodness, that nice. looks sickly sweet. Alright, yeah. <laughs> nice little ring of donuts. And I believe around the corner it's bread and toast. Well, that looks like nice little bread, gluten free. Lots of things on offer. Sliced bread here, and the toaster. And then over here we've got another little section. Yeah. Well, Chris is quite partial to the baked yogurt. Yeah, my girl. And then over here we've got two different waters every day. Um, I probably won't try either of those today, to be fair, but I do like this section. And then we have a selection of juices. Again, these change every day. Watermelons and muskmelon, very refreshing. Apple and beetroot juice, I actually tried that yesterday. And then banana milkshake. This is sometimes like a sweet lassie or a different flavoured milkshake. My favourites are probably the tomato juice and the cucumber juice which aren't here but I do really like the melon juice so I'll get some of that today. And then over here we have some like fresh meats. Then a selection of cereal. Cold milk. Hot milk. And some more cereal. I think the muesli is currently Unavailable. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. And then some cheeses and crackers. Mozzarella. Love me some mozzarella. The green, by the way, means they are vegetarian and egg free. And we have a selection of fresh fruit. 
then we've got the salad section, which I do, for, as I like to phrase it, healthy breakfast. But we start with some like dried fruits and then move on to like salady items. Oh, I've not noticed pepper here before. And the radish is actually usually in strips, quite partial to the little sprouts. And the sweet corn is really nice. And then at the front, we've got some different seeds and pickles. Oh, and Chris has just helped himself to some sweet treats. Mm. Bit of chocolate pudding and stuff. You yes. see the fresh mozzarella balls. Yes, the nice. <laughs> Little random selection of healthy bits <laughs> a couple of balls of mozzarella juices have gone down very nice and I got myself a black coffee Chris is having a latte so round one of breakfast this is the Mexican breakfast love me some Mexican food I'm not always keen on fried eggs but I said to keep it on <laughs> and Chris has got steamed buns chicken char sweet chicken char sweet okay Chicken char sui steamed buns come with some soy sauce and sambal. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just probably wondering why we've got that. Chris has brought himself some coffee syrup <laughs> to put in his lattes. <laughs> um, so yes, round one. But for my second round then I've got the steamed vegetable buns. With sambal and chilli and Chris has got a croque monsieur. Yeah, exactly. well, basically like a ham and cheese toasty with egg and a bit of cheesy bechamel on top I think but yeah <laughs> filling up got a visitor to our um, breakfast table come to see if we can get anything <laughs> Nicky's hungry <laughs> a little after breakfast stroll it's a lovely day um, that's reception over there and the jetty they're currently working on it used to be like a little chill out area at the end but they're redoing it at the moment and here is the main bit of beach on the island it's beds you can use they have towels over there somewhere you can just rent there's hammocks there's little bits and bobs <laughs> Sounds a little bit um, rough. But I've got a bite just where my flip flops rub, so I'm braving it bare feet at the moment. But yeah, here is the sea. This is on a night. Um, they do ray feeding, and there's like sharks coming things. There's always lots of crabs just along the walls and things here. It's a beautiful ocean. Here comes the mm. <laughs> But no, shaping up to be a lovely day. And just there was where we were eating breakfast. That lovely little like hammocks and things you can swing on and Nice, pretty. Just spotted a little hermit crab thing wandering along. <laughs> I'm heading back to our room now. The crab over there on the uh, little jetty walk. I wonder if we can get close. Oh, it's scattering. <laughs> Off. But there is usually a lot of crabs and things about on the side walls here. That's the tide's quite high at the minute. Perhaps a couple of crabs. Oh yeah, on the wall. Blending quite well. Yeah, they do. Oh, my hair currently blowing in my face as well, which doesn't help. So yeah, heading back to our room now. I'm gonna. Um, Put some sun cream on and then possibly head into the water. So this is us. 
So I've just creamed up, just to show you what I've been using. Um, in case you're curious, I use the Aldi's La Cura Factor 50 Plus. Gets a really good rating, I've always kind of used Aldi. It's cheapish, but it's like really good stuff. And then on my face, I've been using Revolutions Moisture Boost SPF. Again, Factor 50, so that's what I've been using. I have also brought a bottle of Factor 30 in case I want to switch that towards the end of the holiday. I always recommend Aldi's. Like I said, great UV ratings and things. Um, Chris tends to use P20, so he only has to apply once a day, but once, twice a day, this is no bother, to be honest. So I've sun creamed up. Uh, this is what I'm wearing today. It is a bikini from Sheen. Um, I've done a haul on this, but I can link it below and anything else that I can link, I will link below. Anyway, let's go for a dip. So the plan is to head for a dip in the sea, maybe some snorkeling. We have our own steps. Um, see, beautiful. good tip for if you're coming to the Maldives or any beachy kind of holiday really is to get yourself some water shoes these are my fluorescent pink ones um, just really easy to wear um, the sea bottom in certain places it's got like lots of like old corals or bits of rock and stuff so it can be quite sharp on your feet so these are a definite must also, when I snorkel, this is the mask I use. It is a full face mask. Um, the top bit does fall down, so it's easier to bring. Um, but this is so much better for me to swim with than obviously the traditional kind. Kind of a band on the back of your head and it covers like your whole face. So a lot nicer. It does, I mean, you don't look crazy cool wearing it, but you know. <laughs> So after swimming or snorkeling on a morning, my plan tends to be to chill on the deck in, catching some rays, drying off and reading my book. Um, the beds are really kind of comfy, come with a nice thick mattress, a pillow, easily adjustable, got wheels. So just before we head off to lunch, I will show you the menu. Um, so this is a menu in the main restaurant, Bukra. It's the menu for both lunch and tea time. Lunch is served between 12 and 2.30 and food on a night is between 7 and 9.30. Um, so we've got lots of different options. The menu's laid out a little differently. <laughs> I get confused Chris and his parents at first, but we've got different sections. So we have an Asian section, a European section, and an Indian Ocean section and each section is split up into small plates which is like starters and then large plates um, so everyone's got two sides of starters mostly it's vegetarian on this side and non-veggie on this side that's what this symbol means it's not vegetarian it contains meat seafood or egg and then we have a large plate section, which is the main, and this is split up into three categories. We've got vegetarian, this is obviously what I've been ordering from. And then we have a seafood section and a meat section. And then we move on to the next one with the starters for the European selection. <laughs> I've tried pretty much all of these, I think, apart from the minestrone. Um, nice. They are smaller portions this year. Um, and then over the page, again, it's the large plate. Again, tried most of these, very nice. Um, I had the fusilli last night, very plain pasta, would avoid it, but the pesto pasta is beautiful. Um, macaroni and cheese was nice too, gnocchi. Um, 
Oh, and actually the cheddar bake was quite nice. <laughs> and if you see this symbol on the menu, which is two little um, asterisks, this means they incur an extra charge. So that's the menu. There is a separate um, dessert menu. <laughs> and then there is also the option of having lunch in the bar, um, the reef bar. So this is again, same hours, but different food options on a lunchtime. So you've got some cold meze starters, some hot meze starters. I've tried both of these two. They're like little pastries filled with either cheesy stuff or spinachy. Um, then we've got some salads. Over here, we've got bruschettas, either a veggie one or a tuna one. Got some pita sandwiches. Then some regular sandwiches, which would be $40 uh, dollars had we not been on all-inclusive. So for a cream cheese cucumber sandwich, feels like a lot. <laughs> and then there are burgers. Chris has had a couple of these. I think we've had the green burger before. And then over the page, there is a selection of pizzas. The pizzas here are very thin. They're made fresh to order in the pizza oven. And then we have a selection of desserts from the bar. Okay, so after a pretty chilled morning, um, like I said, just a little dip in the sea, um, and then I've been chilling, reading my book on the sun lounges. It's now time to head for lunch. We're going back to the main restaurant, Bokhara, where we had our breakfast. I had decided what I was having already, because the menu is obviously the same every day. And I might have changed my mind. I had like an Asian themed menu picked and I suddenly have a crepe, like some kind of cream cheese. What a win, I'll let you know. <laughs> Okay, so lunchtime you get some little focaccia bread to try and then I have got some sweet corn soup which is very nice and then Chris has gone for a traditional Caesar salad. Also got a papaya salad for Chris and I to share. Somtom. So the lunch mains have just arrived I and mean, Chris have just been sharing the papaya salad. We've, we've agreed I think it's the spiciest thing we've had while we've been here. It's very nice though. Proper Thai chilies. And then this is Chris's lunch, which is what? Tuna. Tuna. <laughs> Orange and ginger glaze and vegetables and stuff. And then I was gonna get a curry, but I fancy something cheesy, so I got the mushroom risotto, but now I've got a very chilly tasted mouth. <laughs> we'll see, it should be interesting. But yeah, so forest mushroom risotto. So we've now come to hang around the infinity pool which looks like the lagoon and um, there are beds along here and you you can get towels which are here you can use here um, so yeah nice little view and this is somewhere you can eat on a night Chris and I might try it tonight so it's, as you can see it is a lovely view and up in the trees, which I think Chris has been looking, there's often some bats, which I don't know if I can see, but I'll see if I can find it. And there's Chris waving. Hello. <laughs> so if you swim to the edge of the infinity pool, this is your view. It's entirely not bad. <laughs> so now it's time to feed the rays and the reef sharks.
Hello. So we're just back from the rare feeding. So as you've seen, we had lunch. I had originally planned on a curry and then I found something creamier um, or cheesier. And I got a risotto. Wouldn't have it again. I mixed in extra cream cheese and a bit of Prosecco to try and um, make it taste a bit more like how I wanted it. That sounds quite bright. <laughs> and the starter, what did I do? Oh, sweet corn soup. It was nice. I had it the other day. And I think it was nicer the other day. We also got a papaya salad, some tam, something like that. Um, that was beautiful, but definitely the spiciest thing we've tried. And then we had a, well, actually, we popped into the bar, and which I didn't film, and recorded a little video doing a cheers to my mum because it's her birthday today. And then, so if you're watching mum, which I'm sure you will be, happy birthday, even though it's well after your birthday. <laughs> I'll have seen you since then. And then um, we went in the infinity pool, had a nice little splash about, took some photos and things. Um, there's lots of like birds around there and there's bats. I don't know if I got any footage of the bats. And then we went to the rear feeding, um, which is a bit different than where it used to be. When it used to be here, they used to put on like snacks and like a drink thing. They're none of that anymore. And you used to be able to feed the rays from both on the beach and on the jetty, but you can only feed them from the jetty now. And it was quite busy along there. I tried to get some footage. Um, some young Russian child threw some fish guts at me. Need to say, fuming but I just walked off. <laughs> Dry, uh, sorry, I went to say dried myself off. No, I washed myself off, went to back to the infinity pool, went to go in the shower there and back into the pool. And then I've just been to the bar and got myself a glass of kava to chill with for a little bit. And I'm gonna run a bath. <laughs> Make sure that's well and truly off me, cause gross. Ugh. That's something we've said about being here at the minute. There's a lot more children and they're being a bit unruly, I think is the way to phrase it. Um, but nobody seems to be stopping them. We talked to a guy earlier who said he saw a kid basically just ramming a pool cue against the pool table and the staff were like, we're not allowed to say anything. Um, and then apparently he was using it to smash, try and smash a light and they're not allowed to say anything. So it's, 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 it's you know, it's eye-opening when you see the different sides of the world, I'm sure. Um, but anyway, I didn't come on to Witter, just wanted to catch up because I didn't know if I'd shown my face in a while. Um, but I'm right now just sat on the deck in, a little bit of a chill. Um, I'll flip you around actually because the sun is starting to set. Um, I don't know if it's, it's probably not coming up as impressive on the camera as it actually is in reality. Um, you can do a sunset tour here where you have a boat that takes you from like round here the side of the island and takes you all the way along here and you kind of stop over here for a little while and watch the sunset and then you go back around it but I'll be honest we've done it once and the sunset is as impressive here so we get a really good view and it's very very pretty I did do a hyperlapse yesterday with Chris and I'll probably put that on my TikTok or if I get the chance to do it again, I'll pop something on here. But as you can see, very pretty. So I will next probably catch you in the bath. The bath here is amazing, I love it. So I'll show you the bath. Okay, so I'm about to start running the bath. This is it, it is huge, it's wonderful. Um, it's got a lovely window looking out. I'll show you that in a bit more detail shortly. And like I said, it's huge. The only thing I will say is the thing that controls the taps all the way over there. Um, I've now realised I can just push that down from the middle, but obviously I have to let the water out before I get in. Um, I've got myself a couple of little treats here for when I'm in the bath. I'm going to do my shampoo. Got a cheeky little hair mask I'm going to do myself. Brought along a sheet mask, I think I got that free on my last Super call, and I'm going to pop in the bath a molten brown bath thing. This one's the one I've used before, let me just double check the name. It is Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel. I think I took that somewhere before and I think somebody mentioned I smelled nice and that's what I was wearing. And I hadn't put any perfume or anything on. So let's get the bath started. So like I say, the best way to do this, because the thing's on the wrong side, is just to put it in. <laughs> Um, Chris's parents have the villa next to ours and this thing here is actually over here, which makes more sense. So to do the tap, we should turn it on as it were, but this is also um, a shower here. 
So if you want the shower to come on, you have to kind of tip the tap round to the point where it shouldn't be, if you know what I mean. And then you can use the shower. Turn it back, back to the tap. Obviously this comes out, it's like a big long thing, so I've been using that to kind of rinse my hair and things. So yeah, oh, there's also a big old mirror. Oh! <laughs> So bath running, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> so the minus of having such a big bath is it takes forever to fill up. <laughs> but what I'm probably gonna do is kind of get in it once it's half polished, it's, we're almost there, and then kind of regulate the temperature. <laughs> So it's hard to get the temperature right as well. It's got both hot and cold streaming in at the moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got my treats lined up and I think I'm gonna finish reading the last couple of chapters of my book. Okay, so I have had the window fully open before. Maybe Chris has told me, but this is just far too stiff. I can't get it open any further. Um, I don't really need it open. I'm just gonna chill, read a book and things. Got a nice bubbly, bubbly bath. I think I'm gonna chill, so. Listen to that, I think there could be rain. Oh my God. Is there rain? I think it's raining. Oh no. Chris and I have booked lunch out on the terrace for the first time tonight. I do not think we will be having our lunch, did I say? Um, tea, dinner, our evening meal. I do not think we will be having it out there. So from the looks and sounds of outside, it's going to be a stormy night. Um, the rain's really coming down now. <sighs> so this vlog will not end the way I anticipated it would. Um, it's probably still warm outside. It's never cold. We've had some storms the first couple of days. But I genuinely don't know what Chris and I's plans will be now because like I say we had booked a table at Open the Grill which is an outdoor dining experience. I think they have some kind of terracey thing over the top of it, but on, in parts, but I don't believe it to be waterproof. The bar staff did say earlier they were happy for us to eat in the bar, we get along well with them, but there's usually no food in the bar after lunchtime, so I don't know, I'll keep you posted. Hi, so I'm currently sat with a hair mask on and a face mask. I forgot how rubbish the Super Drug One's Fit TV is. I've just finished reading my book as well, um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's an interesting read. I enjoyed it actually. Um, it took me a little while to read it, um, not just this holiday. <laughs> Ashamed to admit. Um, but no, I, I did really like it. I recommend it. Um, it's about, you know, the seven husbands. Evelyn's a very strong character. Um, there's twists and turns, none of the seven husbands were the love of a life, that's not a big spoiler. Um, and yeah, I liked it, I liked it. I'm actually considering reading another of her books, so I've got the Kindle, I might look and see how much that one is. Jersey Jones and the Six, possibly. Um, so yeah, done that, gonna do this, need to wash my hair mask off soon, take this off, get out of the bath and get myself sorted for food i don't know what i'm gonna do though chris is at the gym he's been coming to the gym for like an hour an hour and a half every night i think he's bloody crazy it's very warm i don't know how he can be bothered um but good for him he said it he said it means he can just eat what he wants to eat um i'm kind of doing that anyway <laughs> um but you know i had a bit of a swim today and stuff so it is what it is um so yeah i don't really know what our plans are then because of the rain i don't know if it means we can eat from the reef, not from the reef, from the on the grill menu in the reef bar, or if we're just gonna have to go to the restaurant, I don't know. So I'll keep you posted, obviously, as this is the vlog of the day. Um, but yeah, no, it didn't turn out <laughs> as expected, bloody hell. When do these things ever do? I'd pick today, because the forecast was good. Um, for today, tomorrow's forecast looked rainy, but like I said, it is the Mali forecast I've been looking at, and, that, and we're like a 30, 40 minute boat ride away from Mali, so I don't know. Anyway, 
I'll check in with you once I am ready to head out because as you can tell I am not ready so check it soon okay so the lighting's not the best I've just got myself ready to go out haven't bothered to dry my hair kind of to be arsed it dries very quickly outside got on a dress from I want to say boohoo could be SS. it's brave soul new look also um, sells them but i don't it's not from new look slightly worried it's a little bit of a buzzamy dress <laughs> chris is on duty to make sure nothing falls out I won't. apparently he's going to be too taken with his food to look at me so <laughs> well she'll see anyway woohoo this is tonight's look oh, it's very pretty but it does worry me <laughs> Chris has just gone to see if it's raining. It is not. Verdict? It, it is not. It is not. Maybe and just... I'm, I can see the stars, so it's maybe cleared up. Ooh. You ain't gonna see one on the camera, do you? I can see one, <laughs> at least. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> so, heading out for tea. There's no rain, thankfully. Uh, oh, oh, something exciting's happening. Is there a World Cup match on? <laughs> <laughs> That's how a room number is lit up on a night, which is quite cool. Um, paths and things are slightly lit, but yeah, heading to see what's going on for tea because I'm not sure at the moment. <laughs> so Chris and I have managed to get seated outside. I don't think you can necessarily tell right on the water. Oh, there we are. It's finally coming into focus. Like a little jador bottle of um, light. Um, yeah over the water they give you a little light so you can read the menu i didn't show you the menu for this but there is a whole page of almost like mexican inspired starters yes, it's not that's fine thank you thank you <laughs> and bins let you know what we're getting and then some bins at an extra charge so just looking back towards the island from our little spot, this was the infinity pool we were in earlier. Over here is like the terrace and the like main bar and things. And then over here is Chris. And now a lovely little view across the sea. Um, so they brought us out some bread. It's to the main restaurant, it's like little tiny buns and some butter. I think this is what you used to actually get in the main restaurant. It never used to be um, focaccia. Okay, so Chris's starter, which is Cajun grilled chicken salad. Yes, in a tortilla bowl. Oh. Turn table supplied is model's own. <laughs> turning your food. Okay, and to share, Chris and I have got the cheese flauta, which is some kind of cheese stuffed rolls. And sorry, no, sorry, I was going to move on, but <laughs> and then next, I got a veg filled quesadilla. So, yup, and they have just informed us that the halloumi is now back in stock, which I've wanted the last few times we've been here. So, we'll probably try that too. <laughs> Food is all gone and it was all very nice, would you agree, Chris? Well, I mean, I can't comment on your quesadillas because I'm trying them. I offered. The, whatever they were called, were basically cheese filled tortillas. Cheese flutters. Uh, very nice, and yes, my Cajun chicken salad was also very tasty. But I no. think both of those things. No, they were all very nice. Um, these are very nice, the flutters, the quesadilla, very nice. I do love Mexican food anyway, but. Yeah, this was like cheesy stuffed, really nice, and then this one was also cheesy, but different cheesy, so I'm in my element. <laughs> so what Chris has got for his main jerk chicken. Yes. Okay, see, he's got some veg and a hash brown with that. And then a couple of chicken. Yeah. Uh, I'm not quite sure what part of the chicken is, but I've had this the other day when the England match was on, and uh, it was beautiful. And then he also got a portion of the daily reef fish, which your mum and sister had the other day. He kind of asked for it just to come as a little extra bit on his dinner, I just, but I think they've given the full portion. Pretty much, yeah, just wanted the fish on its own, but they gave me the actual thing, which is got some kind of chilli marinade and mm. mashed potato. We just had a little bit of plain fish, but with my jerk chicken as a side. But yeah, it's, thing is, I guess I'll have to uh, eat two mains. Yes, you might have to because they seem to think the fish was my main and I've got nothing yet, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, so my main turned up. It 
the, well, the veggie tacos. I don't think there's any other tacos on the menu. No. And then don't know if we'll be able to see this, but they also brought us, I asked the other day, for a halloumi starter, like a caprice salad. Um, and they didn't have any. <laughs> They've just come over and told us they got some in today. So, looks like it's two mains all around almost. Although technically the halloumi is a starter. <laughs> So I'm too full for a pudding, but Chris and I'm too greedy to likes not have to try one. everything. So he's ordered the blueberry cobbler. Yep. Yeah. So that is what that is. But yeah, but that yeah no, I was expecting more like a crumble. It's like a deep, deep, deep dish pie or something, but. Mm. Yeah. Well, see how it tastes. <laughs> Proof is in the pudding. Do you did? Cheeky little look at the kitchen. Mexican little symbols. People's food went to go out and it's right over from the bar. <laughs> We are back in the room, by a bed. I do need to go and wash my makeup off. Um, Chris had a shower, he's been very warm. It's always warm in the pool area of the um, bar. Um, anyway, I just want to do a little sign off. I don't know how I am sat. <laughs> it's probably not the nicest of views. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just want to say about the day. So today I filmed what I'm calling a typical day in the Maldives. Um, generally, what we tend to do on a day-to-day -day basis is, is what you've seen today. We don't always do the rays, the feeding of the rays, and 
in honesty, probably won't do them again, will we? <laughs> Not after the bloody fish throwing incident. Anyway, I suppose I should update you on that. Um, one of the staff, um, Chris's parents, mentioned about the kids throwing fish. And they've offered us to, <laughs> to do a bag of laundry for us. Um, should we want to and apparently the issue has been reported to management I think there's a few guests that are unhappy with how the children are behaving um, but no we get a free bunch of laundry done um, so they can wash off see the fishy smell out of clothes they're like no 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 we will do it for you and I was sitting like no just rinse it it's fine but um, no so that's good anyway just blathering on because I'm tired and ready for bed tea was nice did we talk about what tea was like um food this evening was lovely halloumi a little bit of a letdown to be honest just very standard me mm, very salty halloumi without much else going on um not to be controversial but weather spoons do it better <laughs> but i don't think that's even halloumi it's halloumi style um and <laughs> anyway i'm just going on blah 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 so yeah um drop us a comment any questions or anything you have about coming to the Maldives, let us know. We will we can do a Q&A video if there's enough questions. Or I will try and answer you as best as I can. Is there any links to anything I've mentioned today, I will drop them in the little description box below. And I think that really covers, covers it. So yeah, ask us questions. Drop us comments about what you think of where we are. Um, Obviously, everybody has a different experience of the Maldives. This experience is different to our previous ones. Um, we're very fortunate to come on this trip, so in no way, shape or form do I want it to come across as braggy. We are very lucky. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And also, make sure you check out my other... Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> Voice is gone. Also, make sure you check out my other videos around this. There will be a travel vlog, so if you haven't seen that, check that out already there'll be a tour around the island so make sure that you are subscribed that would be fab because we've got so many things coming up and we've got disney next year don't forget <laughs> uh yes so if you've enjoyed this vlog of the Maldives, then please do me a favour, hit that like button, give me a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Like I said, there are so many things coming up. Um, this will not be the last you see of me. So thank you so, so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.